It's just a short flight from the Faroe Islands to Iceland, but that's the boring way to travel. The romantic way to arrive in Iceland is by boat. The timetable changes throughout the year. It's September and we're taking the one o'clock departure from Torshavn in the Faroe Islands and we're scheduled to arrive 20 hours later in South East Iceland in the tiny port of Sædisfjorda. It's a journey that I've wanted to make for many, many years. So I'm really excited that today's the day. I love the graphic design touches inside the ship bygone days of the Faroe Islands and the history of North Atlantic shipping lines. The Smirrel Line provides the lifeline links for the Faroe Islands. Its flagship passenger vessel is the Norona, which undertakes the round-trip sailing from Denmark via the Faroe Islands to Iceland. In days gone by, Smirrel passenger lines also connected Norway and Scotland, but these days we're left with the simple Denmark Iceland Faroes route. When the ship comes into port here at Torshavn, it towers over the town, docking next to the historic Parliament buildings of Tinganess. Now we've been in Torshavn for four days and we've seen very little sight of the sun, which is not at all unusual for the Faroe Islands. I'm hoping that as we wind our way north through the islands before hitting the open sea, we'll get some clear skies. strong winds and lashing rain. It's one of those days when you think to yourself, how can anyone live here? Well, that's the last of the Pharaohs. And there was just a little glimmer of sunshine. Now though, it's open sea all the way to Iceland. Honestly, we couldn't have wished for better weather. We're about to make a hard left into the long sheltered fjord, at the end of which is our destination. This must be the best way to arrive in Iceland, it's stunning. What an amazing voyage. Our journey continues on into Iceland and then to Greenland. So please subscribe and come with us on the journey.